Hi, I'm going to be reading a book called Sewing the Beans, Pants on the Moon. One winter Thursday, while Zoe was hanging out her pants to dry, a huge gust of wind blew across the garden and, whoosh, Zoe's dress inflated like a balloon and she flew up into the air. Ping went the washing line. Help, squealed Zoe. Ping went the washing line again. Grab hold beans, we're going up. Up went Zoe, up went the pegs and the pants and the washing line. Up went beans, up they floated, up into the blue sky. Up above the town, up, up, up into the clouds. Suddenly, there was a terrible rushing, rumbling, roaring. Whoosh! The big stinky aeroplane blew Zoe's dress right off. It grabbed the washing line and hurled them into space. And they landed with a bump on the moon. Ouch! Now Zoe had a sore bottom, and her nice clean pants were covered in moon dust. But it's difficult to stay upset when Beans is licking your face and making you giggle. Especially when there's a whole moon to explore. Here we go round the moony moon. 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 They skipped all the way to the dark side of the moon where they had an upside down party with a moony, moony mole. Then they skipped all the way back again and bumped into an odd thing. Look beans, somebody put a flag on the moony moon. Zoe and Beans lay down to catch their breath and looked up at the stars while Zoe thought of a way to get back home. Goodbye, Moony Moon. Goodbye, Moony Ma. They rescued Zoe's dress on the way back down and avoided the stinky aeroplanes. They crashed into the garden in a big tangly heap. Home again, said Zoe. Zoe hummed to herself as she washed the moon dust out of her pants. It was long past bedtime before she was finished, but at last all her pants were clean. Well, nearly all of them.